Today we're going to do a Pedal the Lakes adventure. It is a bike tour that's been going on for the last 25 years. You could choose 32 miles, 65 miles, or 100. We chose 32. This scenic tour will take us around Lake Wilhelm. It'll take us into Stoneboro. Rolling in the Stoneboro. Around Sandy Lake, into the small towns of Hadley. 16130. Shakeleyville and back here to Goodard State Park. Along the way, you will see back roads, there'll be trails, there'll be fields, there'll be I don't know what else, but come along and join us on the adventure. We did this trail last year. They will tell you what happened. Because last year we got lost, and this year we're gonna redeem ourselves, hopefully. Because apparently we don't know how to follow direction. So far, so good. We made the first turn. What color are we following? Isn't there a color? Green. green. Following the green. Green means go. Just a zoom in. Oh, bumps. Oh, bumps. Don't worry. Bike's changing gears. Got an automatic. Whoa. Whew. Cruising. How fast you go? 12 mile an hour, 13. Woo Making time. Yeah! We made it to the town of Sandy Lake. Fun fact, Sandy Lake, when it was first established in the 1800s, was called Brownsville. After Mr. Brown, of course. But then they found out that the mail was being delivered to somewhere out there in Pennsylvania, another Brownsville. So they changed the name to Sandy Lake because there is a little lake close to here, which we are going to go and ride by now. In the 1800s, this area was part of the Underground Railroad. You'll see just Just over there was a, an establishment that a freed black man bought 400 acres on this land and they would have the slaves that were running away from uh, slavery. They were coming here to this little town and they called it Libertaria for liberty, right? For freedom. There's not a lot of history on this town because they didn't want the people that were the bounty hunters for the slaves to know about it, but it was a a huge community that had a gathering place that they could have religious services and they could be together free on this land and to live. And so just a rich part of the history around here that I am proud of. Rolling in the stone barrel. Last time we were here, we got snacks. So let's see if they got some snacks this year. 
great little chat with our new friends that we met at the fire hall, grabbed a couple snacks, and we're on the road again. I'm about to redeem myself. <laughs> Dave, at the next road, turn left. Yeah. Not like last year. We went all the way to the top of the hill. Last year we went all the way to the top of the hill, all the way back down the hill, all the way halfway up the hill. Yeah. This year we're only doing once. Go Dave, go. Your hills, you love them. Soybeans. Look how pretty the field is. It's a great day out. Heidi? How you feeling? Awesome. Yeah? There's a car coming. Car coming. Good temperature for today. Perfect! Perfect, just out cruising on the back roads. traveled as you guys know and we found that there's different kinds of waves there's city waves and there's country waves we know we're in the country Dave give them a country wave it's like the curled finger pointer wave like that maybe that guy's got a tri axle we love them both though city country trail road we'll go anywhere we just love to see new things and meet new people so just wave to us we don't care how you wave Middle finger, one finger wave. Ah. We'll take it. <laughs> we made it to the intersection of Route 19. It's time for a little water. Water's good. Get your water bottles filled up. I'm starting to work up a little bit of a sweat. I think we're about halfway through. Everything we're good? Just starting to work up a sweat? Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> That's fast. Coming through the little corporation of Hadley. There's a post office here, 16130. Straight across 19. Go. Yeah, a couple hills coming up. I see them. I think I'm moving, I think I'm moving, I think I'm moving, I think I'm moving. <laughs> Almost to the top. Making progress. We have greatly improved in our biking and our endurance. I remember last year doing this hill and I think I had to push halfway through. Now, doing it really with ease. I mean, it's not bad at all. I guess biking with, you know, 100 pounds of equipment and then getting to bike with no equipment is a huge deal. So much fun. So we have a map. There's also green arrows painted on the road. And we're now off the map. We think we're off the path. But we just decided to turn left and see where it took us. Stay tuned. A little momentary detour. We came from... This way. 
We were supposed to come from... But thankfully we found the green arrows. They told us where we're supposed to go and it looks like we're going... Shakelyville. Dave's gonna shake it in Shakelyville. This road was declared a military road by the state and in 1816. This was adopted as the Pittsburgh to Erie Turnpike. Coming down the home stretch. Not much longer, about another mile. Lake Wilhelm. It looks pretty refreshing after our long bike ride. That's about it. Plenty of room to ride your bike. So that's Pedal the Lakes for the second year. This year we only got lost one time, which is great. The 32 mile bike tour only turned into 34. It was a great time. We'll see you again next year. Hit the little subscribe button so that it goes ding when we post a video. Bye, thank you. We love you friends.